Hello everyone, back again on the Eyes Military Channel. After the Albatross, which will be reborn by an Australian company with the G111T label, now there is other news regarding the legendary seaplane. More senior than the UF-2 Albatross, it was announced that the legendary seaplane from the Second World War era, PBY-5A Catalina, would be resurrected as a modern amphibious aircraft for civil and military use. Reporting from FlightGlobal.com, Kama Catalina Aircraft, a company based in Florida, USA, plans to launch a modern version of the legendary consolidated PBY-5A Catalina seaplane. The company claims to hold type certificates for the PBY-5A Catalina from U.S. and Canadian civil aviation regulators. The launch of the modernized PBY-5A Catalina is scheduled for July 25th at the AirVenture Oshkosh Air Show in Wisconsin. Lawrence Reese, director of Catalina Aircraft, stated that interest in the return of this legendary seaplane is very great. The aircraft, named the Next Generation Amphibious Aircraft, NGAA Catalina II, has been modernized with the latest engines and avionics, providing unique capabilities compared to current seaplanes. The PBY-5A Catalina was first operated by the U.S. Navy in 1935, used for SAR, search and rescue, and bombing missions. Early models were powered by two Pratt and Whitney R-1800-3064 piston engines. The aircraft is also operated by the rest of the U.S. Navy, including the U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Air Force. During World War II, a total of 3,276 PBI-5 Catalina units were produced and played a key role in engaging German submarines in the Atlantic and locating Japanese Navy fleets bound for the Midway Islands, a crucial discovery in one of the most decisive battles in the Pacific Theater. PBY Catalina is also used by several civil airlines, such as Pan American World Airways and Qantas Australia, which operated on non-stop flights between Perth and Colombo in Sri Lanka. NGAA Catalina II is designed to be able to operate from the sea, sea state two, rivers and lakes, as well as from runways of various types of surfaces. The civilian variant will have a maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, of approximately 14,515 kilograms and can carry up to 34 passengers or 5,443 kilograms of cargo. While the military variant will have a higher MTOW, reaching around 18,143 kilograms. There is interest from the U.S. military in highly capable seaplanes. The U.S. Special Operations Command, U.S. SOCOM, is studying Lockheed Martin's C-130J seaplane transport variant, while the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is developing the heavy lift seaplane known as the Liberty Lifter. Defense giant Lockheed Martin has also invested in Regent Craft, which is developing a ground-effect wing vehicle called a Sea Glider with potential military use. Projects like these aim to help the United States prepare for potential conflicts in the Indo-Pacific region which is challenging for military strategy because it is made up of vast open oceans and many small islands.